Hello Philippines Mabuhay! So mga kababayan kong OFW or mga kababayan ko dyan sa Pilipinas, uh, nagbabalik po ako dahil uh, tinatapos ko po yung diskusyon natin regarding exercise or physical activity and its effect uh, in our body, in our health and on our all whole being. So one of the effects of the uh, of physical activity or exercise is that it prevents you from falling or it decreases your chance of falling or the risk of falling as you age. Diba sabi ko, uh, mga kababayan, na napaka-importante po na mayroon tayong physical activity or especially walking or tone, uh, toning exercises or strengthening exercises because uh, sa pagtanda po natin, uh, pag uh, tumatanda po tayo, lalo na sa mga postmenopausal stage, especially in women and, and, uh, and men, uh, as they reach 60, uh, our, our body, our physiological, uh, the physiological aspect of our, of our body, of our system, really uh, declines. So uh, to prevent further uh, decline, so it's really imperative or important na mag-exercise po tayo. Lalo na sa, kasi yung epekto nito sa ating mga buto, sa ating mga muscles, ay napaka-importante po. Ano po ang advantage na malakas yung, ano, yung muscles mo? I, hindi naman ibig sabihin na, na mag, mag, ano ka na lang, everyday workout, workout, and then you'll be lifting a lot of weights na para ka ng, ano, yung parang mga ginagawa ng mga professional weightlifters. No, I'm not saying that. Uh, ang sinasabi ko lang, at least yung, yung regulars, uh, uh, regular exercises or activities that is just really appropriate for your age. Kasi kung hindi mo naman kaya, bakit mo kakayanin? Yung ano lang, you know, uh, i-modify lang natin. But what is uh, uh, important? Ano yung ini-emphasize ko dito mga kababayan? Ito yung, ano lang, yung kung may weights kayo, mga 1 pound or 2 pounds or 3 pounds, or if you have 5 pounds, better. Kung wala po, kung mayroon po kayong uh, yung, you know, yung cans ng ano, yung evaporated milk. So you can use it and then do your exercises. Uh, at saka walking, I really recommend walking. Walking is free. Walking is, uh, you know what I mean? Walking has lots of benefits, especially 30 minutes of walking every day. Or if not, 3 times a day, 3 to 4 times a day, for sure it's going to help you a lot. So uh, it makes it makes your strong. It makes you to have a strong bones and and uh, and uh, stronger muscles and powerful muscles. At least sa uh, ano lang na no? sa kung ano lang yung magagawa mo wag yung yung lifting lifting talaga. So uh, if you have like strong muscles, so it can support your joints. And then it's very important pag meron po kayo mga arthritis. Napaka importante po ng exercise sa arthritis. So, uh, so ulitin ko mga mahal kong kababayan, mga OFW na nagkaedad na, na umuwi na sa Pilipinas. Um, alagaan po natin ang ating mga sarili. Uh, you know, we need to learn to take care of ourselves. You know, we, I'm sure you took care of others for so long, for so many years. And then it's time for you. It's payback time to, uh, to love yourself and to, to be engaged in healthy uh, in healthy activities. Mahalin po ninyo ang inyong sarili. Huwag niyo pong pabayaan kasi uh, nagawa niyo na po, nagampanan niyo na po ang inyong, ang inyong uh, tungkulin o responsibilidad habang nagtrabaho po kayo sa ibang lugar. So, uh, at saka kung kayo po ay OFW na may mga masunuring magulang or magulang na may katandaan na rin o may edad na, huwag niyo pong sabihin na yun, huwag na po kayo mag-exercise, huwag na po kayo lumakad Sasabihin ko po ito, prank ka po ito. And gotta be very honest, please encourage them to move around. Encourage them to engage in physical activity. Encourage them to, to be sociable. Kasi nakakatulong yan sa kanilang mental health. Nakakatulong yan sa overall function. Sa, at least sa, sa mental health. At saka sa ano natin, yung sa thinking natin, judgment and uh, learning. And then, you know, the social effect of... Uh, of having like a, ano talaga yung epekto ng exercise. Napakaganda po. Pag nasanayan na po natin yan, hahanap-hanapin natin. So be engaged in, the, in activity, okay? Yung pag-e-exercise. 
At saka yung ano, uh, nag-improve po yung, pinapa-improve din po pag nag-engage tayo sa exercise, sa physical activity, ini-improve niya rin po ang ating pagtulog. Madali po tayong nakakatulog at saka uh, malambing po ang ating tulog, baka nakabukas pa yung bungang, <laughs> naglalaway pa, ano, joke lang po. Uh, you're, you're sleeping better, faster, and deeper. And then, Uh, and then upon waking up in the morning, you're feeling fresh, you're feeling refreshed. So very important talaga ang effect ng exercise sa ating uh, katawan. Lalo na if we are, we, if we are uh, truly relaxed uh, physically and mentally. Because remember, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the procedures na makaabit up ng stress ay yung exercise kasi ano kay, yung yung nai-improve yung immune system mo uh, yung immune system so pag nai-improve yun so uh, may resistance yung katawan mo na i-fight yung mga common illnesses such as colds flu uh, hindi ka hindi ka magkakasakit uh, hindi ka madaling magkakasakit o mahawaan ng sakit so yung isa pa it improves our sexual health so ito yung ano yun no? may mga problema like for example pag nagkakaedad na yung sexual capacity. Na for example, sa mga may edad na ng mga mga ka, mga kalalakihan. So the uh, you know, the erectile function of uh, uh, the erectile function is you know, is decreasing. So if you have exor- if you are exercising, it improves you know, your circulation, it improves the uh, your condition. At saka kung mayroon ka ng problem na, you know, if you were diagnosed or if you are diagnosed, you have like erectile dysfunction. So it has been proven that uh, it improves your your uh, sexual function. Now, sa mga babae naman, nag improve ito na kanilang ano, at least yung, uh, at least yung, you know, uh, arousal excitement level. So nag improve So very important. And then, um... Finally, exercise makes us live longer. So it adds uh, it adds more years to our lives, which is really true. So if you are healthy, if you're away from illnesses or chronic uh, illnesses, uh, it helps improve our overall health. It improves our immune system. At the same time, if we are maintaining our health, or our, especially our weight, we're not obese, uh, we're staying away from being obese so that is really good because uh, napakalayo po natin na magkaroon tayo ng you know heart problems or any heart uh, ailments and then uh, wala pong mga at least mga inflammation sa ating katawan kasi yun po yung mga inflammation yung nakakasira sa ating you know cells sa ating mga later if, it, if it's left uh, un, untreated may mga bad effects talaga sa ating katawan so for me It is very essential that you know we stay and live longer as long as uh, we're just staying positive lang talaga at saka alagaan natin ating mga sarili uh, uh, let's have a, a medical checkup at least every six months or every year para least malaman mo lang ano, kasi lalo na tayo mga Pilipino hindi po tayo maingat sa ating kinakay may ilig po tayo sa mga lechon at kung ano-ano pang mga ano, ako hindi talaga ako kumakain ng lechon kasi ano lang, kumakain ako pero yung very little lang. But no, hindi yung sobra talaga. But others, oh my God, please have them, uh, ano talaga, ingat-ingat po. Kasi po, uh, pag ano, pag may nangyari po sa atin, eh, kung tayo lang inaasahan, like for example, yung mga anak mo, you know, they are, they're, if you have your own family, they're really counting on you. you know, they want to see you live longer and be healthy. So mga kababayan, sana may nakuha po kayo sa aking na-share sa inyo. Paki-comment na lang po. Hit like and subscribe, okay? So, uh, kita-kita, kita-kita po tayo ulit. Pasensya na po ulit sa aking uh, sa aking uh, pagtatagalog, okay? So, I'll see you later and more videos to come. So, God bless everyone. Take care. Peace.